It has been a very difficult week for District 214. Buffalo Grove High School is back to class tomorrow for the first time since four students were killed in a crash and an unrelated fire broke out on campus. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman has more from Arlington Heights where staff and students are coming together to heal. Buffalo Grove High School originally closed because of a small fire that broke out inside one of the classrooms. That very same day, four high school students were killed in a crash in Wheeling. The interim superintendent calling this one of the toughest periods in the district's history. Our hearts are heavy as we remember the four students who have been taken from us. I ask those in attendance as well as those watching at home for a moment of silence for these students. Silence speaks loudly in Arlington Heights at a board meeting for District 214. It's just like we're at a loss for words. Interim Superintendent Ken Art. Here we have a fire, the school was closed, and then we have four students that died, all within 24 hours or less. Um, I don't know of any other school district that's ever experienced that. Repairs are in motion after a fire broke out in the English wing and multimedia classroom at Buffalo Grove High School. But what's really on everyone's minds here, four students and soccer players from Buffalo Grove High School. They were just great kids. They were in an SUV that crashed into cars and a light pole. Everybody's doing their very best they can, but uh, tomorrow's going to be very hard for everybody. Hard to head back to school for the first time since Ricky Barsenas, Richard Dieta, Kevin Hernandez Turan and Jesus Rodriguez died Tuesday night. And it was so unexpected that no one really knew it was like real. At Dundee and showing back in Wheeling, a memorial sees so many visitors wheeling police on scene to help with traffic control. Everyone knew to come here either way just to show their love. The school principal now with an impossible task, leading the healing process for these students and their friends and families. The pain has been almost unbearable the last couple of days, um, but I think as you see, we are we're coming together and it's an incredible um, community. Graduation is next Wednesday. One of the students killed in this crash will be honored at the ceremony. Reporting in Arlington Heights, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.